Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in Ride, and today we are here at the Intermark Osseo Car Show on this beautiful, gorgeous day. We're here with Rob and his 1948 Packard, which has got a very interesting uh, story. This was originally ordered um, by the President of Guatemala, President Osario, Robert Osario, um, who had a son who was also a dictator of Guatemala, so this was the dad's car and uh, they ordered it from Potomac Packard in DC. The only thing I don't know is if the car was used in DC or if it was taken back to Guatemala. The car is in kilometers per hour. Now the flag mounts, they were already on the car? Yes. Okay, which would have been used if it was a presidential limousine, right? Yes. And and I had the flags that are in the trunk. Okay, and the, he did uh, some some custom things for the car. So you got you got the gold uh, uh, emblem here. You also have gold on the tail. On the Packard writing on the on, on the, the, on the, and the, the and, and the curb feelers. And then the curb feelers. Wow. <laughs> Inside here. Um, I always get asked about the prism on the other side there. Back in the day, they would use that to be able to look at the traffic light through the prism because many of these cars had visors. I don't think this one ever had a visor, so I'm confused why they needed or wanted the prism, but it's there. So they would use that, oh, so they could see the reflection of it? Yes. Interesting. I, I was wondering what that was because it's rather ornate. The lever that's pulled out, sticking out underneath the yep. dash there, that's the overdrive. How many gears does this have? It's a three-speed. Three-speed, okay. Um, the grill extension over the glove box, I believe, was a custom feature. Another custom feature was to have what they call the backup light. We call them reverse lights today. Okay. This car did not have that, yeah. so Sometimes I have a feeling they just handed them a sheet and said, check off what you want, what you don't want. I've also seen pictures of the sedan version convertible and they did not have a lock on the glove compartment. So okay. that's why, again, like I say, here's a sheet, check off what you want, what you don't want. The wood looking trim everywhere in the right. dash and is this, not it, wood, is not, it? No, it's, this is metal painted to look like wood. And Packard did this, um, at least to 1940 that I know of, but I'm pretty sure before that. And you can see that the screw's holding this in, so it'll all just come right off. You know, that, that, I mean, that's that's a pretty good job, because I, you know, I look at, you know, think of 80s cars in, in some of the fake wood trim they had. It's at least as good as that. I also think I got lucky because someone replaced the material back here, and it looks like there's a little bit of sewing that um, needs to be finished. Something wasn't right, there's a little spot over there too. So this clearly was replaced. I believe that these seats were replaced and I believe the carpet was replaced. The couch seat, I think, is original. It's just a little different color. Yeah, and you've also got uh, a footrest in the middle. Oh yeah. And then, of course, your Packard uh, floor mats. <laughs> Oh, you had even interior lights here on the side? Yes, the courtesy lights on the lower side, and then there are opera lights behind back by the window. Okay, and the back windows actually opened as well, didn't they? These back third windows open, yes. And then, you know, right down below that switch, is that was that an ashtray or was that a... Yeah. Okay, all right. In the back, of course, you had your brake lights, and then this one, did this one come with a backup light? Or was no. that, that would have been an option that would, could have been added. Right. And wasn't, okay. I'd like to add it, I just don't know how to do it. There's a wire loom in here, I'm sure I could probably do it. And it, it usually would just kind of connect onto the bumper here. Okay. And it would just sit right okay, here. Okay, it'd be a separate, it wouldn't be something that was come out of the body, it would be an added. Yeah. Okay, and I, we were talking about this earlier, Rob, but this is something I've never seen before. What was the function of this? This is a chrome covered air intake and you can fill the uh, the spare tire huh. from here. From there. So that is unusual. Okay, and then this of course would have been your license plate light right here. Yeah. Um, and then here we see the gold trimmed Packard in the back. And then it was a, it was a single exhaust. 
then yes. coming out the rear. Yes. So this is a, a straight eight uh, with a flat head. Yes. Okay, and I, I think I think it's the documentation said about 150 horsepower, something in, in, in that range. But, but you know, it looks, I mean, for a 1948, wow. How many miles does it have on it? Um, oh, how how I, much do you think it has on it? Well, my guess is 116 kilometers. Okay. 116,000 kilometers. kilometers. Okay, so maybe 80, 90,000 miles, something like that, roughly. Wow. Oh, look at that, that whole cowl built up for the air intake. Man, that, there, there is an engine you had room to work on. Yeah. Now, had you done any sort of a work on the car yourself? Just like small it, tinkering stuff. Small, t okay. So basically, you bought it like this. Yes. And when you when you uh, when you you bought it from an auction, right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about the story about that. That's kind of, kind of interesting. Long story short, um, I missed the car at the auction, and the lady called me back, and she said, "Well, it didn't sell. If you're still interested, you can buy the car." And I'm like, "Well, okay." So I I used their preferred shipper, which I thought was a little expensive, and. When the shipper got there, he said, the car doesn't run. I was like, uh, I was under the impression the car ran. So I actually had the car delivered to a friend of mine who helped me get the car running and okay. on the road. It was, basically was just a dead battery. Okay. So, uh, and you had actually been looking for a Packard before this, before you bought this one. I was. So you, you actually wanted a Packard. Was there any particular reason you wanted a Packard and not, say, a Chevy? Um, I was looking for a limousine because I do weddings on the weekends. Ah, so you want something classic you can chauffeur around in. Yes. Ah, well that makes sense. This is a beautiful car. Oh my goodness. I got lucky. This is just what was on auction. I had no idea the history of the car. I just thought it looked like it was in good shape and I just bid on it. And when the guy called me back about the car and the payment on it, um, he just told me that there's stuff in the trunk that goes with a car, including some brake rotors and I'm like thinking rotors this car wouldn't take rotors and they're still there I don't, I don't know they <laughs> doesn't make any sense ah, ah, sometime you'll get through that but what a beautiful uh, piece of American history uh, Wow uh, Rob thank you so much for sharing your car and your story with us we sure appreciate it okay. thank you yep thanks for watching